For Honor is a game that I really enjoy personally. It's a game that I still have hours into. It's one that I just in general really love. It's, you know, it's one of my favorite games because there are just things about it that I've never seen any other game even try to do. And if they have, it hasn't been executed quite as well. But unfortunately, the game lacks in certain areas. But to keep this review lighthearted, I'll start with the good parts. Uh, the game itself is a very solid experience. The Just in general, it's well done. I enjoy a lot of it from, you know, the animations I, from the gameplay. You can see they're all very fluid and, you know, the, the map design is beautiful. I love the aesthetic that all the buildings give off. Each faction has a theme. Vikings, samurai, and knights. I'm clearly in a samurai area now. <clears throat> you can see that from its, uh, you know, very Asian-inspired design. It's really just a fantastic looking game. Its graphics are good. Its characters are phenomenal. I'm currently playing as the Aramusha. He's uh, sort of like a disgraced samurai who uses two swords. I think it's really just a very unique design, one you don't see very often. Uh, you know, I'm fighting uh, a conqueror. He uses a shield and a mace, a very classic design with some pretty awesome armor. The, you know, again, I'll harp on it again, the animations are great. It's one of the few games that the animations feel like they actually do stuff, you know, like, you've been in, I'm sure you've played a game where, you know, when your character runs, the animations themselves, they don't really feel like, you know, he's moving anywhere. It feels very light and very, you know, not, not important to them, to the people who made the game. But in this case, you have very powerful animations that feel like, you know, when you hit a character with your swords, you feel like they feel the hit from the, the swords. Which is really good animations. The character design are, you know, the character design is one of my favorite things. It's so good. I love the design of the Warden, the guy I'm fighting right now. He's my other main besides Aramusha. Uh, he just has some super awesome sword and armor designs. The combat mechanics are really really just the the best part of this game it's they're so good like it just everything makes sense there are very few times where i feel like i've been unfairly killed due to you know the combat mechanics not being sound uh but there have been times where that has happened now unfortunately when you move on to sort of the, the the not nearly as good part which is i mean there's there's more than one but i think the main one for me right now is just the community the community in forerunner is not a very good community they're not very welcoming they're not very, you know, if it's your first time playing, they won't go any easier on you than than they will on, you know, me, someone who has over 100 hours clocked in this game. Uh, you know, it's it sucks, because it's a really good game, and I'd love for people to get into it, but there's just, the community is, they're not afraid to gang up on one person if, they're, if that one person is doing bad, they're not afraid to, you know, just take advantage of you if you're just starting the game. They're really, it's really not a great great community to be part of. They could really use some help. Uh, but that's, of course, not the only thing wrong with this game. Some characters are, are very... they're not balanced very well. Uh, you know, you'll see in a, in a clip that I talk about later on, you'll see what I'm talking about with, you know, characters not being, you know, balanced and having sort of strange moves mixed in their movesets. Now, I'd like to point out this, this gameplay I'm showing now is not representative of the heroes that I'm actually fighting. They're very different. Uh, these guys have modifiers and stuff like that. These are AIs and they don't really play like real people and I'll, I'm gonna harp on that again later on. Uh, but yeah, so the the balancing of the characters can be an issue. Some characters are way stronger than others. Uh, Conqueror is very underpowered. He's really... He's, his heavy attacks take forever to land and his light attacks don't deal enough damage. His really only... His only real redeeming quality is his shield, and that's, again, I'll harp on that even more later on. It's just, he doesn't make much sense to play if you're, you know, unless you're fighting like eight different people at once. So, character balance isn't on their side, they could definitely use some improvements. Uh, I'll include, maybe I'll include, uh, you know, when I, some improvements for different characters in like the description that I think Ubisoft could apply. Uh, and now I'm going to touch on something that I personally struggle with a lot, which is a lot of unfair fights. I mentioned before that they won't, that people aren't afraid to gang up on you and fight you, you know, in a, in a, you know, with more than one person. Trying to fight more than one person at once is a chore to do if you're playing someone with, uh, 
some characters have what's called uh, reactive co uh, combat stance, which means if you look in this gameplay now, there's a left, right, and top sort of selectable HUD element. Uh, and that is where I am blocking and where he's attacking from. When it's red, he's attacking from it. Uh, if it's white, I'm, I'm blocking that direction. You each have three directions and, you know, I, I, I assume you guys get the gist. So when you have a reactive combat stance, that means the little white part that you're guarding in only lasts for a little bit. And then after that, you're no longer guarding that stance. That stance is left open. Uh, when you're trying to fight more than one person, it's difficult to block one side because that that block stance will eventually deteriorate and then you won't be guarding that side anymore. So, you know, if you're playing one of them, it's it's a chore, but it's still a chore even if you're guarding, you're playing with someone who has, like the characters that I'm playing, that, that have, you know, steady, held combat stances that aren't, you don't lose the defensive uh, part of your combat stance. It's still difficult because characters can block break, which opens up the, you know, it, it does what it says, it breaks your block, You'll block, uh, you'll be able to block attacks, <clears throat> like my character right now, for as long as I want, unless someone runs up and breaks my block, right? And you'll probably see it coming up in a couple seconds, where this character will, will block break me. When that happens, I can't block any attacks, and it leaves me open to all attacks from all sides. And so, in a, you can counter those, and I, I'll probably do it at one point, uh, or he'll do it, uh, you can block those, but again, I'm still left open to any other attack from anyone else who, you know, wants to attack me while I'm block breaking. So that opens me up to attacks from other people. Again, if I'm fighting, you know, eight different people at once, that's really not going to be a, you know, a fun different, a fun, a fun combat mechanic. Now, I should mention you can't actually fight eight different people at once. It's, I think it's five. It's been a while since I've played online. I, it's it's tough for me because I, I'm always stuck fighting so many people at once. But it's never eight people. It's you know, and if you're good, you can usually hold them off. I can usually do it pretty well. But it's it's not fun. It's it's an annoying thing. It's not. F I don't enjoy doing that. Uh, so, anyways, unfair fights plague a lot of the things. And again, if you're new, it's going to be a big issue for you because you know they're going to see that and they're going to take advantage of you for for not having played this game for very long. Uh, bad matchmaking is something that happens all the time. Uh, I like to switch up characters. I don't like to play one character for too long uh, just because, you know, it, it gets stale or old. So when you start a new character, obviously uh, you're not going to be as good with him. So the better you are, the higher your level. For some reason in For Honor, instead of taking your character level, they take your overall account level and match you with people who have the same account level as you. So right now I'm reputation, I think it's four. So I've leveled four of my characters up past level 20, which takes a while to get to, which means I'm good with at least four different characters and a couple of them being over uh, reputation one. So then when I start a new character that I don't know, I'll be put up with people who have the same, you know, reputation for as me, meaning they'll be better at the characters that they have. So if they play the characters that they're good at, and I play the characters that I'm new with, uh, I think we can all guess exactly how that goes for me. But just in case you didn't get that, it means that it's not very fun. So, uh, you know, that's, that's sort of my stance on the matchmaking. It could use a lot of improvement, and I really wish that it was better. Uh, another thing to talk about is the hero unlock system. It's really very pay to winny. Uh, like it's never really, I'm never really having a fun time while I'm, you know, while I'm playing this game. Never really, it's, I'm always trying to unlock a new hero and unless I pay real money in game, I can't. And it, that really ticks me off because I really want to play these new heroes. They're really cool. Uh, like I said, the design on them is just awesome. And that that's an issue. They need to change it. They need to make it more affordable for people who can't spend money. I, I paid $60 for this game, and I don't have every character. I think that's a little unacceptable. If I paid a full, full, full retail price for the game, I don't have every character. To summarize, with some really strange lag-related issues, poor UI design, difficult-to-access hero system, lack of proper AI, AI and a difficult-to-win-any 
one v any other number of, of people, For Honor makes for a difficult sale. In total, three out of five, with a little tweaking to the game, it could be a really great game. All right, so in this clip, you're gonna watch me fight in a uh, 4v1. Uh, it's not that fun. You'll see in a moment when they all show up. This is what I'm talking about, where it's just a chore. It's not a fun thing. I can handle myself. Here they come. This is all four of them, and a fifth will come at the end after I beat them all up. But the only reason I'm winning, I'm not dead, is because of Conqueror's ability to, to break combos and to have high defense. But if you look, I'm literally being attacked from all sides. Now I have revenge, and that gives me an attack boost, makes my attacks unblockable, or uh, unstoppable, and uh, also gives me uh, a shield boost. Now, the Conqueror has an ability where if he blocks, he heals, as you can see I'm healing. So I'm waiting for this Peacekeeper to continue attacking me so I can get enough health to begin attacking her. Now, off to the left you can just barely see a Shaman. And if you look around the, the edge of the HUD, um, this is, it's all red, and my character is also red. So we're gonna watch in slow motion here, and you tell me if, while focusing on the Peacekeeper, you could uh, tell that she was attacking. Now, I also don't know her moveset, so I have no idea that I have no idea that she could do that. This is some of the things that I. This is some of the issues that I have with the character moveset. It's or the, these lockable characters. I don't have her unlocked. I, I just can't. There's nothing I can do about that. Her her moveset is hidden to me. I, I can only do that in private matches. And why would I go into private matches when I could just, you know, continue playing a character that I wanted to play? Again, it's not a casual community, it, it's a competitive community, and if you don't enjoy competitive gaming, this isn't the game for you. Yeah, boy! Alright, so in this clip, you're gonna watch me fight a Peacekeeper. Uh, I have thick skin on, which makes me impervious to bleed damage. You'll see she'll block break, break me and stab me in a bit, and those three stabs inflict, inflict bleed right there. Now. I'm gonna have enough health to survive, and I just want you guys to watch what happens. <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what happened either. It's just another, you know, it, 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 foreigner some awful servers. I think this is one of its biggest issues that it refuses to fix.